Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. Thank you for watching and supporting always, okay? Um, so really quickly, there's a woman named, I think it's, Mor is it, it's spelled Miranda, but I, say, I think you all say Miranda in your family. Um, there's a gentleman. I don't know if Miranda was the love of your life or someone very close to you, like a sister. Um, in the dream, I felt a very familiar energy between the two of you. She had a very innocent look to her. She's very beautiful, a gem. Like you really loved this lady. And the only thing I didn't understand is if Miranda was your lover or your sister. But it's like this woman seemed to be like your world or something like that. Um, and what I understood in the dream is that I think Miranda has been missing. I believe you've been trying, your family has been trying to find her. Um, there is something, let me get this out really quickly. There is something about a woman that used to work for you or with you and the woman that you are with today, you need to look into the two of them. There's something very sinister about the both of them. I don't know if they know where Miranda is or they collaborated to remove Miranda out of your life. There is something about jealousy in this situation, but I think you've been trying to figure out what happened to her. There is something about a little black purse. Like it, it was very little, like a very little black purse. Like this purse was probably no bigger. Like, I don't know how to show this on camera. <laughs> No, like probably no much, no bigger than this, this height. And I don't know if that's a purse that belonged to Miranda. And this is what you had, uh, had me using in my dream to find her or to get in contact with her, to get a few of her energy. Um, but it's like one of the ladies, this is like, this is like one of those purses that we buy and the men are looking like, why the heck does she have that little bitty thing? You can't fit nothing in that purse. Um, it may have been like a purse that she ordered offline or something like that. And she really loved that purse. And it's something she carried around with her. You probably didn't understand why Miranda liked the purse, but you know, she really liked this purse. She seen cause in the dream, it's like, I wouldn't let go of this purse. I carried the purse everywhere with me, but it was a little black purse very thick sturdy and I think this used to be her purse or something like that um there's something about Miranda there's a house so this is uh, if your family is trying to figure out or if you're trying to figure out if she's alive she is there's something where it's like there's a house um the house is I think like red it's a very tall house you know like one of those old like those, it's like an old building. It's a house, but a very old one. It's very tall, red. Um, I didn't go inside the house. I was just outside the house. Around the house, like the lawn is not taken care of. It's not finished. It's kind of like those, like this isn't like, this seemed like it was like on the, I don't know if this is like the south side of the country in some type of southern state or something like that, or just somewhere where it seems like this needs to be some type of catching up but this house seemed to be isolated there was like some type of path you had to go like a bush or something you have to go in it around and up and the house is right there so it's kind of like a property that's right in the open but hidden at the same time but in the dream it's like you had hired me to look for her and I found her, um, and you went to pick her up. And I think you were, you were like, don't worry. I got her from here. She's going to be taken care of. Uh, and when you, when we, uh, uh, found Miranda, she didn't have much with her. It's like a sack of clothes that she had been using during her, I think captivity or something. Um, but like someone has been either holding her hostage in this home, something like that. But there's something very, um, What's the word? So, there's something very sinister about the woman that you are with and a woman that used to work with you. I don't know if they've both collaborated and set this woman, Miranda, up. I, I, sir, I'm so sorry. I don't know if Miranda is your lover, like this was the love of your life or this was your sister. But I think you've been looking for a woman named Miranda. She is alive. You will find her. Um, I just remember at the end of the dream, we were like either at an airport or like a train station and like my job was done 
and I was going down the escalator and it was a bunch of family members coming up the escalator to see Marinda because they had been looking for her for so long. Um, and they were so happy. The, the thing I noticed is that Marinda was fair, very fair skin. Um, the rest of her family were like, uh, my complexion, very beautiful. Her skin tone is very beautiful. I'm just trying to like see things that I noticed in the dream, but it seemed like, uh, uh there was a little difference. Um, but it's like they were all so happy to finally know where she was and wanted to find out what had happened to her. To her, when you found Miranda, there was some type of switch in um in like when it came to the woman in your life, and it's like she had to go or something, and then Miranda came. There was something where it's like Miranda was your home. Um, and again, I don't know if this was your sister or your lover. Like, for example, um, there, there are people in the world where it's like, they're like your soulmates and they don't have, like, they don't have to be like your lover. It's just like when you're around them, they make you feel safe. So maybe Miranda was your, was your home. You, she felt like home to you. Like, for example, I didn't grow up with my siblings, right? But I saw them from time to time as I, um, was growing up and every time I saw them, it felt like I was home and I don't know how to explain that, but it's just like. You just feel at peace and at ease. They bring you joy. They bring you fulfillment. You know you are content. You don't have nothing to worry about. They're not going to try to do anything funny to you or about you. So when I used to see my siblings from time to time, I, uh, I, w- I would feel at home because like the living situation I was in, I was kind of isolated and, you know, not really. There, there was a weird thing about my, there's, some, there's a weird thing about my childhood which prepped me for what I am experiencing today. But I'm using that story to just kind of explain how you felt in the dream. It's like Miranda was your home. Like you felt at ease and it was like, Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Like we've been looking for her. I don't, we didn't know what happened. There's, there was like that feeling like nobody knew what had happened to this woman. And you all were just looking for her endlessly, just tired. I don't know if you're going from state to state trying to find her. And unfortunately, I didn't. I don't know what state it is that she was in. But I just know that either it was like a train station where this house was by or like an airport or something. But I remember I had, um, after she came out of this home or you all got her out of the home. Even I almost ended up going back into the home. But... I immediately realized, I said, "Mm -mm, I'm going in the wrong direction. I don't belong in there. And I came back out. And at the end of the dream, this little black purse, I was holding it in my hand. And you were like, can I see that? What is that? Where did you get that? And I said, oh, I ordered this offline. But it wasn't my purse. It was her purse. So I think in the dream, you were having me use her purse to connect with her. Um, and I don't know if this is something you've been holding on to since she went missing or something, but there's something about the woman that either worked for you or works for you and the woman that you are with. There's something very sinister about these two women you need to look into, um, when it comes to Miranda, or it could be that there's someone in that you are familiar with someone in your family that knows what happened to Miranda. I don't know if these two women got together and set Miranda up to make it look like she did something she didn't do. Uh, uh-uh. she didn't do anything. That woman was innocent. I don't know if they said she stole something or she just disappeared. She, whatever it is, she didn't do anything like that. She didn't steal from you. Um, when I saw her, the woman seemed very innocent, very like, like one of those people you, you just see and you know that they wouldn't, they wouldn't hurt a fly, but there was some type of, I think a setup going on where they made it seem like she did something to you. Um, but there, there was something that was orchestrated when it came to Miranda. It was not accidental. So, um, hopefully that helps you because at the end of the dream, I remember that, um, I reached out to you and told you, Hey, I found Miranda. She's here. And you came so quickly to find her. You came so quickly, to, quickly to find her is that like your heart was at peace. Your mind was at peace. Um, and you, you just seem so relaxed and chill. You may be someone that worries a lot. It's like, this has been sitting on your mind for a long time. But I just remember I was so happy. Like when I saw the family coming up the escalator to meet Miranda after so long. Um, and I'm pretty sure they had a lot of questions to ask her, you know, like how she's doing, but I didn't stay to see that part. I was just like, my job is done. It's time for me to go. I went down the escalator. I saw a lot of, um, 
male family members um, going up the escalator to go and meet with Miranda. I saw a very tall, dark-skinned man, smooth skin, um, very beautiful African features, um, very tall, smooth brown skin, and he looked at me. It's not, I don't, he didn't look like he was smiling, but he just looked like looked like he was uh, content. Um, a lot of them just they just seem eager to go and see their relative. They went eager to go and see Miranda. Um, so there's something where you need to look into either the woman that worked for you and the woman you are with, or there's someone in your family that knows what happened to Miranda and you all need to start asking questions to the immediate people that are within your family or around you and you'll be able to find out where Miranda is. Okay. It's going to take a lot of work, but you'll find out. Okay. Um, there's something here about the eight of pentacles. Um, someone and the, the end of the dream is something that sat with me. This, this eight of uh, pentacles, it has to do with some, someone being skilled, a master of their craft, right? Um, at this point, they've mastered what it is they're doing. Um, they may be, you know, at the end of them being like an apprentice and things like that. And they're about to step into that nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles kind of energy. So this is someone that has put in a lot of work to master their craft, their abilities, their skills. I remember your last line to me in the dream was that, oh, so this whole time I've had the real deal right in front of me, right? Huh? And I said, yeah. So it's like someone had told you that either I'm not truly gifted, I'm not real, um, that I'm, I shouldn't be taken seriously or something like that. I think you wanted to reach out to me for help, but maybe you have people telling you that I'm not uh, genuine. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not reliable uh, or I'm not the real deal. Something like that, which you, people in, people that do what I do, this is quite typical of us to be seen in that manner or to be spoken of like that. And that's not something that bothers us. It really doesn't. It goes in one ear and out the other. But with this eight of pentacles coming out, I think it's supposed to confirm to you, uh, the work is real. <laughs> The work is real, so uh, hopefully the information I found out for you in my dream will help you look at Miranda. She's going to be very happy to see you. Um, like, oh, I just, I just like, remember, you just feel so content, so at peace, so at peace. Yeah, so at peace. There may be someone that's going through a lot of turmoil behind the scenes for tempering with someone's work, whatever this has to do with. Um, maybe there's a queen of cups that's been tempering with someone's work and is about to step right into poverty, right, right into their ending. It's like someone working really hard to end another person and then they're realizing that they've been... Um, uh, manifesting their own ending the whole time. Okay. So someone has been very committed to causing tumors may have been even giving people offers and things like that to put an end to your work. Um, I have to remember not to sit with my arm touching the table because I'm starting to mess up my, the arts piece. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. There's something about people committing themselves to taking someone down. It's that whatever it is you're trying to manifest, whatever work it is you're doing, people don't want it being seen. They don't want it being taken seriously, but it's coming out that it is something that's actually genuine. It's that people have formed some type of contract, some type of agreement behind the scenes, some type of commitment into causing distress to your manifestation, your gifts, your abilities, and things like that. They don't want you focusing. They don't want you receiving payments for your work. They don't want you, like, they just don't want you being content in life. And with this eight of pentacles showing out, um, you could be someone also that's very in hermit, uh, uh, that's very much of a hermit. Like you are a bit of a recluse and recluse is not a very good word to use because people that are reclusive, they just, they, they seem to be like, uh, they tend to have a bit of a egocentric nature to them and they don't really want to be bothered by people. They may have a little bit of a, uh, uh, uh. I don't even know how to put it, but recluse is not the right word to use. It's almost as though you're someone that just prefers to be a hermit, to be by yourself. Um, and this is what people don't know because when you're in hermit mode and you're by yourself, this is the time that we master what it is that we are doing, master our craft, acquire education, 
because we have that peace and quiet to focus on what it is we're focused what we need to focus on excuse me okay so there's something where it's like instead of people committing themselves to their own goals and things like that in life they've committed themselves to causing distress for you while you are trying to manifest some type of healing manifest your ability to communicate with the spirit realm it is something like that okay but whatever they've been doing this is coming to an end this uh period of you being a uh, collective this period of you being in isolation you being rejected people manifesting endings for you and things like that people wanting you to be stuck in your head uh people wanting you to be seen as crazy you're not crazy you're actually very genuine someone that has mastered themselves on empress energy okay you may show up in your queen of swords king of swords energy quite a lot okay so there's something also where it says someone is about to go from being committed to ending your work to kind of having to let go it said no I don't want to be committed to this anymore. There's a queen of pentacles out here that's being exposed. Someone may be receiving some type of uh, uh, a com communication about this woman. It said, hey, she's been out here stealing from someone. She's been out here plotting an ending for someone. Um, she told us this person was a liar. She told us this person was a thief. She told us this person was a narcissist. She told us this person was loose, reckless, all kinds of stuff. But it's coming out that she's actually the one that is this way so she's being looked into there's an investigation about a queen of pentacle reverse that is going on and this could have been prevented if you would have stopped doing something the whole time i've been telling you to stop doing it like i've been telling a woman that watches my channel for a long time Hold back, cut your losses and move on. But there are people who are narcissists in the world. It don't matter how many times you tell them to stop doing something. How many ways you tell them to stop doing it. You can write it, you can read it, you can say it out loud, spell it out loud. Say it in French, English, German, Spanish, in, uh, Indian, Swahili. You can say it in multiple languages that they understand. They're still not going to understand it. She felt like she get, had to keep going. This Queen of Pentacles in the reverse she felt like she had to keep going. This sister don't even went to practitioners and everything to get something to go in her favor. And it's just not going in her favor. It's like I want whoever she's coming after you collective. It's like I want her to stop growing. I don't want her receiving any type of love offer. I don't want her receiving any type of work offer. Her being promoted. I don't want people to take her seriously. I don't want him coming towards her. There's, this woman is unhinged. She is, she is bothered. She is unstable. This is someone that's financially motivated. This woman don't care. And it keeps coming out the same way about her in every message. This woman does not care who she steps on to get it, what it is that she wants in life. Okay? I'm telling you. She don't care who it is she steps on to get what it is she wants in life. Because what well, this is someone that's very vain and financially motivated. So she may be betraying someone or plotting someone's ending, which is going to lead to a tower for her. Honey, I don't know how else we got, we, we're going to tell you this. You ain't going to win. Would the people around this woman please tell her? And I don't know if you already told her and she's not listening. That means let her go. Because whatever path this woman is headed on, it's not going, it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty. Like the universe is about to humble someone so miserably she may not be able to recover. Someone may find themselves out in the streets begging, begging for money, okay? She's still out here trying to co collaborate with people to cause someone an ending, to blast someone's work. People already know whoever it is you're coming after is skilled or knows what they're doing, whoever this is you're coming after. Baby, if it's me, you're wasting your time because my ancestors, <laughs> baby they're about to tear that behind up if it's me i don't know you you better thread with caution okay because you're about to be out here in a five of cups kind of energy i don't know if this has to do with love or whatever honey i'm just gonna use it mean to be funny because i don't told you all on this channel before i don't got no friends i work in my mom business and take care of my kids so i don't know who this got to do with i'm just using me as an example hypothetically if this is me baby girl you're barking up the wrong lineage tree there's gonna whoop your behind repeatedly you know like the blight mamba those suckers when they strike you they come back and strike again and strike again just to make sure you don't get up that's how my ancestors move they're gonna keep striking and striking and striking when they're done striking they look at you and say look poor little thing thing she thought she stood a chance those suckers are ruthless. Even I sometimes, 
I, I, I got to catch myself what I said to him. So I hope this ain't me because you keep popping up in my reads. Hmm. <clears throat> Baby, you about to be out here in the five of cups energy, living in fear as well, baby, with this nine of wands. Thread with caution, Miss Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This whoever you're going after, I'm trying, I'm being told to tell you this here ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Back off. I don't know how many times we gotta tell you, but you keep coming out here plotting people's endings. You don't got so desperate out here for a man and for some money. You're trying to have someone on a life and it's going to backfire horribly. People know you've been waiting, trying to weigh someone down. People know you are weighed down as well. How are you coming after someone and they're doing fine, chilling, relaxing? Uh-huh. Probably drinking mimosas wherever they are, whatever country they are in, doing their work. You see, this person here is focused, right? They're focused on their work. And the fact that they're focused on their work is causing you distress because they're still able to manifest positivity for themselves. You're out here in the reverse. Plotting endings, betrayals. You betray everybody around you. You thought they didn't know, but they know. How hard you've been working, baby. How hard you've been working to get someone to take a different path. It said, no, no, no. She's not your twin flame. She's not your soulmate. Baby, these soulmates, they communicate on a spiritual level. They connect on a spiritual level. So these are not people who meet and they say, I got I to gotta get to know her first. I got to get to know him first before I commit to them. Baby, it's an instantaneous thing. It's a, oh, that's my twin flame. Hi, twin. How you doing? Twin, where have you been? All of my life. It ain't no hesitation. They know off the back. I told you oh, I met my twin flame before. I knew what who he was. I don't I don't know like what the heck people thought they were doing, but it just was not time for me and that man to be together. I don't like I meet people and I know exactly, oh, I got a contract with you. It don't got to be a romantic contract. Like even like supervisors, bosses, like when I meet them. Family members, cousins, strangers. I meet them. I say, oh, yeah, that's that karma you got to pay me. Or that's that karma I got to pay you back. But I, it's, it's from a genuine place. They say, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We got a soul contract. How you doing? How you doing? They don't remember me. They don't, they're not aware because not everyone is on this journey. That's okay. But I'm going to make sure I'm genuine with them and fulfill my end of the bargain. But I do that discreetly. They don't know. There was a point in my life I didn't know. But I had to go through this process of awakening. So now when I meet people, I know what contract I have with them. But I make sure I'm doing it from a genuine place, not just because I have a contract with them. So all this hullabaloo, this hocus pocus you're going about to block two people from coming together. Maybe if the universe said they are coming together, my, the bottom of my left foot is itching. If the universe said, I am on the right path. Thank you, ancestors. If the universe says... That these two are coming together. It don't matter what you do. They are coming together. As a matter of fact, they may take you back home to the spirit realm so you can sit down. They say, you know what? We need to re-educate you. Go back to the place of education. You know what? Go back to the, to the university of, soul, of souls. Because we don't try to work with... You know, the, these suckers are very patient with us. They're very, a little bit too patient. The kind of patience the spirit realm has, unmatched. Unmatched. They act like mediators between people. You have a karmic throwing a temper tantrum, and then you have a, 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 a light worker, a divine being. They're like, listen, look, 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 look. <laughs> I'm doing my best to stay being a soul guy out here, but a sister is trying it, a brother is trying better talk to her. And then the, 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 the spirit realm, they say, yeah, we know we're, we're, just give her time. Be patient with her light worker. I don't been patient long enough. You better talk to your child. <laughs> they act as mediators between us because they want us to always express our free will. But when you don't know when you're supposed to stop, they don't have any problems with interceding. So whoever's ancestors or lineage tree you're barking up is the wrong mother effing one. It's what I'm being told to tell you. Because they don't mind stripping you of everything. You and whoever you hire, that's queen, queen, king of wands, excuse me. Poverty is the road that lies ahead. You may want to back up. Don't send nobody in to anyone to give them a, a disingenuous offer. 
You're out here trying to end two people from coming together and having ultimate fulfillment, having joy, bliss, and everything. You don't want them to have everything. They will. You said, I got to end them. We got to take both of them out. Like you, you want to dead both of these people. All your plans are going to be failures. Because the inner sisters, the universe, are the ones you're going up against at this point. Everything you've been doing, everything you've been doing. And since the ancestors, the universe, are the one interceding at this point, they said this contract between these two people or whoever this is you're trying to end, receiving some type of contract from another person or institution, it still stands. That means you don't got a hand in this game. You're playing with yourself. You're, you, you're headed in the wrong direction. You're playing with yourself. Baby, there they go. There they go. You can do all the rituals you want. It's a couple that came together to lie. You can do all the rituals you want. It ain't going to do nothing. All your rituals, your spell works are being sent right back to you. It's all being sent right back to you. You and your friends, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is what's up ahead of you all. Look at this. It's people out here that don't even want to work with you anymore, but you're trying to force them. Trying, all you do is come up with ways on what, how to block people from having fulfillment. You're out here trying to pay people still. It's, they don't want to be part of this. I'm telling you. You see this here? Someone's work is going to be on the world stage. They're going to be elevated. Someone holds them in very high regard. Someone has worked, 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 and worked. So they say, you know what? This person, I like what they do. They're actually talented. Yeah, I asked with this person. I asked with this person. The people around you, honey, they asked with whoever you're trying to come after. They said, nah, 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 nah. This sister here, this brother here, yeah, they're legit. We like them. You don't like them, that's your business. You stay over there. You're by yourself. All by yourself. Don't want to be, you say you don't want to be by yourself, but you're by yourself. Because people are healing, coming together, moving in the right direction. They want to have genuine friendships and things like that. But whoever it is you've been trying to end, baby, listen, you don't stand a chance. Because you're not even going up against this person anymore. I'm telling you, you're going up against a lineage. So you need to sit back, self-actualize. And put an end to this buffoonery you're up to. I don't care how much money you say is on the line. Whoever you're trying to force to fall in love with you or whatever this is, they don't love you. Again, it came out the same. It's the end of the road of this friendship, this family, this collaboration. It's over. O V E R A. <laughs> like that meme says. Yeah, it's disappointment for you. You're out here throwing a temper tantrum because people are putting an end to this nonsense. It said, give it up, Elizabeth. Give it up. Give it up, Elizabeth. Baby, someone is about to be recognized. You're going to have to move on. You're out here crying because someone still gets to move on with your life. You're out here coming after someone and they're not fighting back. Can you imagine that? To, to invest this much time and energy into destroying someone fighting with someone and the whole time they're not fighting back they're just moving on with their life perfecting their their self their craft every this focus on their own life minding their damn mother effing business because it's as easy as abc try it abc easy as do re me easy right because minding your damn mother effing business is as easy as abc I'm doing the shoulders, people. I'm using my shoulders to emphasize that. Use your shoulders with me. Minding your damn mother effing business is easy as A, B, C. A, B, C. Easy as do, re, me. A, B, C. One, two, three. Baby, you and me, girl. There's a man out there singing that song about his twin flame, whoever she is. Listen, listen, listen. There's a man that watches my channel. You listen to a lot of music. You, you be jamming. Hey. You don't went from, from thinking someone is a wrecking ball in your life. Talking about, uh, what was, can, you don't went from Miley Cyrus to Kevin Tim, uh, uh, uh Tevin Kimball. 
Like, you just be all around the world with music. It's beautiful. Keep on doing your thing. I don't know if you're using music to heal, recover. It's beautiful. Keep doing it. But I I hear your songs sometimes that you're listening to. Beautiful. And I think I hear it because you be on my channel watching and listening. How you doing? How you doing? Good for you. Good for you. Madam, 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 madam. This is you. This is you, okay? <clears throat> Walk away. Go and self actualize. Go and heal. Because whoever you're coming after, baby, it ain't what you think it is. It ain't what you think it is. You lie. It's okay. Listen, I'm telling you, you lie. You lie. You've been paying people to lie on someone to make their life as difficult as possible. You may have paid a king of pentacles, king of wands. You've been paying a whole lot of people to cause burdens on someone in someone's life. It's a tower. It's disappointment for you. you. If you're not careful, you're about to have a lawsuit that is going to dismantle your foundation. Every little bit of money you got is about to be taken away from you. Every little bit of money. You're about to be leaving this realm in a lot of debt. Because everything you get is going to be garnished. Say, yeah. <laughs> you got paid well today? Yeah, Collective needs that money. Collective has to go get her hair done. He has to go get his hair cut. Yeah, we're we going to need that. Hand it here. Hand it here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Keep on putting in them hours. Oh, you got Social Security? That's okay. Clear the check. Okay, now. Okay, go. Come on now. You know the routine. Divert it. <laughs> Write our check. <laughs> I think I want a Chanel bag this month. <laughs> Whoever this sister is. <laughs> I think I want a Dior this month. You know what? My kids got to go to college. I'm going to put that in their college fund this month. <laughs> Baby, you about to be in debt debt. That's what you don't know. You about to be out here hanging out dry. Dry, dry, dry. And getting out here in limbo. You've been self-sabotaging your whole life. All you do is lie and you karmic as heck. Trying to force a man to be with you. Girl, stop it. There's a lot of fish in the seas. Look at that. You're getting a bad message, right? That you're about to be out in the cold, being pulled out of a home. You stole something. Yeah, it's the end. It's the end of the road. It's the end of the road. You got to go heal. Because there ain't no way someone should be this dedicated. Look at you. Disappointed. I said it. <laughs> you're disappointed out here. Because what's coming up for you, baby? Oh, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. You about to be out here unhinged, broke, rejected. You know the very reality you tried to manifest for someone. You tried to manifest difficulties for someone. Nope, it ain't happening. This is what you're about to be in. No friends. Everyone rejecting you, right? Isolation. No munting. No job. Everywhere you go, they're about to say not hiring. Oh, listen, it came out again. Your friendships are over. People don't want to be part of this nonsense. It's the end of the road of this collaboration. It's the end of the road. I don't know if you are working with a couple. You don't went and betrayed the couple. Girl, you're just out here betraying everybody. And you're trying to block an offer from some, for someone. You're just out here betraying everybody. There's no honor among thieves, huh? Someone said, I'm not a thief. I didn't know what she was doing out here. We hear you, but that's why you got to ask questions before you participate in illusions. Anytime someone can come to you and sweet talk you into taking someone else down, you should know something is up. What is up? What goes up must come down. I guess it's coming back down. You reap what you sow in life. It's up. You reap. Ancestors, listen, we got to get the people to take us serious. Y'all can't be out here being comics, okay? <laughs> we got to get the people to take us serious. Calm down, calm down. <laughs> you read what you saw in life. It looks like you put nothing out there but death. So that's what's coming for you. Endings, endings, endings. This emperor said he don't want to be fooling around with you anymore. <laughs> I said, you reap what you sow. <laughs> and they said, oh. Yeah, you betray a couple. You try to destroy a relationship. You, you told someone a woman betrayed him. She didn't betray him. You told someone a man betrayed her. They didn't betray each other. You've just been really, really, really 
determined to block two people from coming together. You're out here unhappy throwing a temper tantrum because these two are still coming together. You, you, you're like a little girl. You know those little girls that are walking around here at the age of 53, the age of 42, the age of 35? Those little girls. Those little girls. You got to grow up. I don't know if you can anymore. You're still out here trying to step on people. To Look at that girl. I, I told you. About to be successful as heck. And th th baby, you ain't going to be part of this relationship now. <laughs> Why these two are elevated in life? It's a whole family is about to be going through like. Dang. It's a whole family. Why am I putting it there? Right here. Right here. Right here. Trying to complicate things for myself. Why a whole family is going through like two people are about to come together to create abundance for themselves. Now, I want you to see something as well. You all don't want from the ten of pentacles to the four of pentacles. You went from the eight to the three to the four. It's not getting good for you. It's not getting good. Ain't no, no more collaborations. These people are done. They say you got to get on, Alyssa Bell. Get on up out of here with that mess. We're tired. We're done. They know too much. Who, whatever you stole from someone or tried to steal from someone, they're getting it. You said, we don't want her being independent. We don't want him independent. We want him to be out here suffering and struggling, rejected, isolated, confused, confined, all kinds of things. No, they're still receiving commitment, Elizabeth. <laughs> what you thought this was? Whatever home you took, you're being pulled out of that home. You got to go. Oh, you got to go and you're going to have to figure it out. We don't care about none of this. None of this. You're going to have to figure it out, Elizabeth. Mm. Just like our collective had to figure it out, you're going to have to figure it out. You're going to have to figure it out. There's a king of swords out here that's disappointed. I don't know if you are someone in the upright and you're upset that you took some type of action against a woman. It's okay, sir. You, you'll be okay. There's a king of swords in the reverse. I think you're taking some type of action to balance something out, sir. Not the one in the reverse, but the one in the upright. Yeah, go on, do your thing. But there's a one in the reverse that works with a queen of cups reverse in a community. They're both burning as heck because all their spirit, all their secrets are about to be spilled. This is a, what, what I saw was a tall black man and the woman he was working with is a sh average high woman, probably in her 50s. He could be in his 50s too. Uh, I think he may be, what is it? Is it maybe like Anywhere from four to seven years older than her. They've been working together. She's a she's like a caramel complexion, and he's a darker complexion. He may be like my complexion. I don't know if you all can see my my lovely complexion on this screen clearly, but he's about this, maybe a little bit darker than me, something like that. But he's very tall, and she's like average height. But she's caramel complexion. Um, something about braids or locks or sister locks or something like that. These two work together. They're lovers as well is what I'm hearing. He's married. She's not married. They're lovers. They work from behind the scenes to do things, to get things taken care of. They're like career criminals. It's something about them that's going to come out. Baby, they won't be able to, oh, they won't be able to avoid it. These two got some queen of cups. Uh-huh. Okay. They are familiar with one another. Very, very familiar with one another. They've been working together to manipulate a whole community is what I'm hearing. Been working together. They've been working together for a long time. Long, long time. Long time. Long, long time. And you all don't even know. These two are in a whole blown relationship. The man is married. He's not happy about his marriage. He's not happy in his marriage. He cheats on the wife a lot. This I'm getting like something where this is a woman that likes to date married men. She gets a thrill out of it. This is you guys. Listen, I know some of you be coming back to watch me. You know, just entertain my little silliness. I think I'm important or something. <laughs> 
I actually think people be coming back. You know what? My YouTube algorithm, the, the statistics is that people be coming back to watch. How you doing? Repeat offender. <laughs> there was a video I did not too long ago, maybe no more than a week ago, where I was talking about a woman that likes to date married men. This would be her. This, the Queen of Cups reverse that I'm picking up on. She dates married men. She's been, she's been with this man, this woman's husband for a long time. They've had a thing going on for a long time. Nobody knows. They may even go like on vacations together. She's in a relationship. He's married. But the two of them, baby. Yeah, they work together. They work together. About to be locked up. <laughs> I don't know why they came, came up. Maybe they're about to be locked up. But they did something illegal. Forgery. Like, they work together, get there. If this is a community that does crimes together, these two, they're into extra activities outside. They're into extra activities outside. Not just the explicit activity, but criminal activities outside. About to be locked up. They won't let y'all out. Mm, you better not go in there talking about your heart problem, baby. But well, nobody, you didn't care about no heart problem. Something about a heart problem, he's gonna try to use in court. Talking about your honor, I have a heart. Nobody cares about your heart problem because you know what? You had that heart problem and you were still taking actions, right? Mm -hmm. To trap someone. Baby. Mm, it's a Queen of Cups and a King of Swords. In the reverse. They were trying to force a victory. <gasps> but to be locked up. They won't let you out. No. You gotta do your time. You do the crime. Gotta do the time. I don't know if you all thought you were gonna set someone up. Mm -mm, it ain't happening. Them ancestors ain't playing. They say I wish your mother if I would. Try our kid. Hey. Say get up. Stand up. It's a stick up. Stick up. <laughs> Put your hands up. It's a stick up, stick up. <laughs> Touch your baby. It's a hit up, hit up. <laughs> Let's see. I'm a clown. <laughs> a whole clown out here being a freaking high priestess. I can't. Fellow high priestesses, don't judge me. Listen, we got to add some entertainment to this. So anyways, get up, stand up. It's a stick up, stick up. Put your hands up. It's a stick up, stick up. Touch our baby. It's a hit up, hit up. I'm ancestors in plain. They say, you know what? You touch her. It's a king of swords and a king of cups in the reverse. You touch her, you touch him. We're going to hit you up real good. He, 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 he. And then it's the end. Bonito. Bonito. So yeah, you got this queen of pentacles here. This woman is crying because someone has... Someone is being allowed to move on, allowed to move on. Mind you, someone didn't do nothing to this woman. Nothing. Nothing at all. She was determined to block two people from coming together. She said, no. I said, no now. No, Johnny and Melissa cannot get together because I said so. Baby, you better sit your raggedy behind down is what the universe said. Is that who? Melissa, Marissa, who, who are you talking to? Who, what, who are you talking to? You are in the reverse out here. Meaning you don't have grounds to make any judgment in any situation. You come here after two ascended masters to make judgment in their lives? I think not, Marissa. Baby, collective, whoever you are, whatever was left for you, it's been protected by the court system. It's been protected by the court system. It's been protected. Can't nobody have it. The court system, your, 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 your ancestors, the universe, everybody is protecting it. They said, Miranda, girl, Melissa. Yeah, the court system is watching over. I mean, yeah, they're watching over you too. It's what's, dang. Who you is, sister? The court system is watching over you. Who you is? Okay, now. The ancestors are watching over you. They want you to know that you are protected. Oh, they ain't finna let nobody fool with you. Nah, 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 nah. They said, nah, you are good. Keep focusing on your healing and mastering yourself, baby. Uh-uh. They said you're not confused. You're on your right track. 
And there's a queen of cups behind the scenes that's bother and worry because she done took some actions. It will be their queen of cups reversed. It's been working with their king of swords reversed. Got some court cases coming up. About to be locked up. They won't let you out. Mm, they won't let you out. You still got people out here trying to inter interfere with karma. Justice. Keep on going. About to trap yourself. It's a man on trapping yourself amongst a group of people. Don't, don't even know. We can't get out. Talking about, I'm stuck and I can't get out. Sir, how did you get stuck? Did you accept bribery? Did you get caught up in some buffoonery that you should not be a part of? We can't help you. You're where you're supposed to be. Never in life should anybody come and sweet talk you into taking someone else down. Never in life should someone be able to pay you to dismantle another person's life. I'm assuming you were in the upright before you came into that community. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay? I don't know. But, listen, you're going to have to figure your way out of that one. There's a... There's a, 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 what is it, an ex? A, I keep picking up on an ex that's going through a hard knock life. You don't got nothing to feel sorry about for this ex. Because this is what they were trying to manifest for you. You being rejected, not receiving any good offers or nothing. Listen, mm, it's someone out here been lying to a whole higher fence. Someone out here has been lying to a whole higher fence. Mm, mm, mm. And then you have another higher fin that tells nothing but lies. Nothing but lies and cause nothing but illusions. You're going to be found out too. I don't know where you think you're going. <laughs> where are you going? You're about to be way down by them ancestors. They said, hey, 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 Peter, Peter, Peter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sit down right We, we, we got to talk to you. Sit down. We got to talk to you. That, that's okay. Don't worry how long it's going to take. Don't worry. It's going to take all day. That's all day it's going to take. Don't worry. Sit down. We got questions. That would be the authorities coming in to ask you questions. Okay? Been out here pretending that you're in the art, right? But you're a whole devilish energy worshiping a whole second master behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Okay? There's the one that's in the upright, and there's one that is in the reverse. One tells nothing but lies, and the other one say, hey, now. Mm -mm, I don't care what you all say. We're going to fix this. Y'all been lying. That man said, now nah, I know the truth now. I know the truth. This person is actually genuine? Oh. Yeah, that, that's what we're going to say. When the court case, when the court case, court, uh, case is going on, that's what we're going to say. That's what I'm going to say. I'm not part of up with you. Or someone actually respects their divinity. <laughs> He respects himself. Maybe these cars are just falling all over the place. That's because these karmics are all over the place. Look at that. 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 Baby, this this Queen of Pentacles reverse. She ain't doing too good. Somebody need to check on the Queen of Pentacles. Oops. Nobody wants to be around her. Oops. Nobody wants to be around her. Nobody wants to be around a lunatic. Nobody wants to be around. Oh, you a girl. Listen, Miss Queen of Pentacle Reverse. Honey, we done told you too many times, too many times. Put an end to this buffoonery. Okay? You, the... The empress that you all have been working with, someone's wife or mother, the queen of wands has been out here into the voodoo, he do, she do, co do. Baby, this is you all, right? The, the, the death for the empress, the death for the queen of wands, uh, court cases for you all, and what the tower is the end for Nito. That queen of wands says, says I'm still going to go do magic. This this spell right here, this ritual right here, this one right here, this one right here. She's on her uh 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 Cat Williams. This one right here, this one right here, trigger, this one right here. Yeah, this the one right here. It's gonna do yeah, 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 yeah. No, ma'am. It's gonna backfire again. It's gonna backfire again. Everybody is going through it. The King of Wands wants to come in with an offer. Nah. Listen, I'm telling you, whatever he's coming in with, no, it's a no-no. 
It's a no, no. This was coming out sideways. So there's a couple in here. Baby, there. <laughs> there's a couple in here. Devilish. Work together. Do nothing but lie, steal, destroy. Baby, you are <laughs> your own. <laughs> You're at the end of the road. It's the end of the road. Trap got legal issues. Everybody got legal issues coming in or got some type of problem coming in. This poor queen of pentacles, girl, you just, you're just a hot mess. Dot com, dot net, dot org, maybe even dot gov. You about to have some financial, financial problem. Uncle Sam said, oh, you're going to pay back what you owe. <laughs> <laughs> That's where your narcissism got you. Uncle Sam said, you're going to, oh, you're going to pay it back. You're going to have to work and pay back every dime. Everything. Everything. Oh, it's already at 50 minutes. Dang. Time flies by. Time flies by. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. They want to keep going with the magic, the voodoo, sending energy. They want to keep going, folks. I told you. You, you can tell these people in 10,000 different ways not to do something. What are they going to do? They're still going to do it. So we got to sit back and enjoy the show, folks. Because we already know our ancestors got us. So let me put, put this up here. Uh-huh. <laughs> Because we need more entertainment. So let me put it up so we can have room for the next <laughs> next set. Because we're, what we're going to do is have for some entertainment along the way. Out here bothering people that ain't bothering you because you want to have someone's destiny. Girl, you, you need to sit down somewhere. There's nobody you guys are going to send in that someone is going to accept an offer from. Someone is not looking for an offer from anybody right now. Unless it's Monty, that is actually genuine Monty. We don't want the blood Monty. So whatever your store, return it. Is someone saying, no, I'm not giving them. You don't got an option. You don't got a choice. I don't think you understand what, what kind of situation you are in. Talking about you don't want to compromise. You don't got the upper hand. You don't. I'm not negotiating with the likes of her. I'm not negotiating with the likes of him. The likes of who? Uh, angel? Oh. Because that angel is going to have... Baby, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> look, 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 look at that. Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Sagittarius. This, this Sagittarius keeps popping up a lot. A lot, a lot. I don't know what you up to, sir. I mean, I know, but I'm not going to say, you know, I'm not going to say that's your business. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> How you doing, sir? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, you a Sagittarius, King of Pentacles kind of guy, huh? Okay. All right, so I see you. I ain't going to tell people what you up to. That's your business. It's your world. It's your world. I wish you luck. Dang. That brother said, you've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Dunk. <laughs> That's too funny. You funny, sir. You funny. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Now that's how you move. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what this man's gonna do. He said, he said, please don't rat on me. <laughs> yeah, he said, please don't rat on me. Don't tell them nothing. Don't, I don't want them to know nothing. <laughs> it's okay, sir. I understand. <laughs> He's not doing anything malicious, folks. It's just funny the way that came out. <laughs> Listen, it's still the same. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Mr. Sagittarius. We'll keep your business discreet. Listen, baby, this is a greedy group. It ain't getting no better for you all. This is it's the money. 
It's money above all. They're doing it for the money. They don't care how corrupt it is. They're going to keep abusing their power to make sure things go their way. We don't already concluded and told you, listen, we don't did the calculation like Medea. Ooh, it ain't going your way. We don't did the calculations. Everything, the calculus, the actual part, the trigonometry, we don't did it in all kinds of ways. E is still equals to what? MC squared. <laughs> Listen, sir, you don't want me telling your business. You're going to have to stop showing up in here. Okay? Stop showing up in here. <laughs> e is still equals to MC squared. Two plus two is still equals to what? Four. Maybe these are the two plus two, not knowing what the F it is gonna be. A little bit, a little bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Listen, it's a it's a King of Pentacles in here, financially motivated, cause he's out here in the reverse. No, you. Yeah, he still felt. Folks, this man is in the reverse. Reverse. He fell off the table in the reverse again. He's in the reverse. He's taking some type of action to come in and cause you some illusions. <laughs> Listen. She knows. Oh, she knows. Okay. Let me go in and I'm going to go talk to her. Okay. I'm going to put some charm on. Maybe I can give her a little bit of munting. You know, we can have this stuff squashed. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. He's going to come in and try to give you some munting. <laughs> Maybe try to pay a queen of wands you're familiar with to come towards you. It's a no, 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 no. Yeah, now, nah. what you going to go talk to the emperor for? That emperor came out sideways. That ain't a real emperor. That is not a real emperor. He's eating. Nah, 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 nah. You taking more actions to go abuse your power. <laughs> Mr. King of Things out. There's money. He's struggling. This man's savings accounts is being depleted by the day. He said, man, I'm losing money. I'm losing money. I want my money back. What did you invest in? <laughs> what did you invest in? Why are you wanting your money back? What did you give your money to? Who did you give your money to? You're trying to steal someone else's money, block someone else's work. You are you you are a hopeless cause because all the info that's been exposed. You're still out here trying to force things to go your way. And it ain't. It ain't. It's not going to go your way. When this is over, you're going to have a whole lot of problems. Court issues, house issues, financial, all kinds of financial issues. You're about to be stuck, stuck. Uncertain future. I don't know if you think you're coming in to give someone a... Marry, marriage proposal, baby, yes or no? No, I'm telling you. The community, everybody is fighting. He said, let it go. Let it go. She said, no. I can't let it go. There's too much money on the line. And then you see the queen of pentacles is in the reverse. Queen of, king of pentacles in the reverse. I had the both of you in the reverse. And Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You're both in the reverse. How? It's not a coincidence. There are no coincidences in the universe. Listen. <laughs> Baby, they're fighting because you collective, you get wish fulfillment. Is it she gets everything she wants? He gets everything he wants. Why? Because they're in this energy. And the universe has decided it is so. It is so. It is so. You all don't even know what kind of work people are doing behind the scenes for their abundance and blessings in life. But you think you got a place to decide who deserves what, who can get what. You don't got a place. You don't have a place. At all. At all. At all. At all. At all, at all, at all. 
I don't care what day of the week or hour of the day you guys come on here. My singing is still going to be raggedy as heck, just like the Queen of Wands. Hopeless. But is that going to stop me from singing? Mm -mm. That's not going to stop me from singing. Alicia Key said she don't sing. She was singing. I don't know who is it. Singing. <laughs> You got to make better life choices out here, people. Oh, baby, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Collective, they say you got good health. For, uh, you got good health. You got good health. If there's someone sick in your family, Collective, they are going to recover. There could be someone sick in Carmelville. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Someone about to ascend to the spirit realm. You guys are going to keep losing something or someone until you return and let go of what you stole. It's what I'm being told to tell you. You're going to keep losing something. It's about to be empty up the, car, the, the towers. Oh, it's about to get worse. Someone passed away in a community. Someone's about to pass away in a community. It's someone out here, it's a group out here pissed off because someone is moving on in confidence. Someone is taking action to communicate. Like, someone is moving on. I don't know what it... Listen, this stuff is over. It's redundant at this point. You keep paying to cause difficulties in someone's life. The heck are you doing all that for? What are you doing all that for? For their own money? Their own inheritance? Their own abundance? What you doing all that for? Calm down. Calm down. Okay? You're receiving communication, baby. What's about to happen to all of you? It was destined. There's a whole group of friends that got together. Someone you're going to be receiving communication from an institution. Uh, someone from my institution is going to be communicating with you, wanting to meet with you so they can give you something. Be cautious because it could be a setup. It said, how do we get this check to her so we can have her locked up? Uh, someone's been holding on to your money for a little bit too long and they got to let go of it or they're about to be in some serious trouble with the court system. The court said, hey, you got three days. I said three days. <laughs> You got three days uh, to return or to give them their money or we're going to lock you up. They're trying to find you now. Say, have you seen Earth Angel? Have you seen Earth Angel? Have you seen Earth Angel? Is it, uh, you know where Earth Angel is. Y'all been stalking Earth Angel, showing up at Earth Angel's house. You still trying to play dumb? You know exactly where Earth Angel is. Remember, you've been having drive-by, telling people to go park in front of Earth Angel's house, apartment buildings and stuff. Make sure she sees that you are watching her. Remember, go and turn her doorknob and make her think you're coming in there. Make him think you're coming in there. Try to bust through the doors. Send her a lot of dark energy. You don't pay a whole lot of money to find out where someone lives. Now you want to act like you don't know where they live. You know where Earth Angel is. Earth Angel, Earth Angel, do they know where you are? Yes, yes, they do. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you need to boom, boom, boom. Hey, this is your money. Oh, we're going to need that to come through the court system because uh, the way you are are moving. Mm -mm, we don't trust you. So we need an official to deliver that money. Because you all cannot have it. You can keep arguing about a queen of swords having their wish fulfillment. But baby, the universe says that they deserve it. So earth angel, earth angel, you shall receive justice. Boom, boom. Have you seen earth angel yet? Yeah, you know where earth angel is, girl. We used to go there every day to harass her earth angel. We wanted the earth angel to make sure we knew where she lived. Remember? Remember, we used to sneak into her house when she would be sleeping at night. We used to sneak into his apartment when she would be when he would be sleeping at night, taking stuff out of there to make them feel uncomfortable. Yeah, we know where she lives. We know where he lives, girl. What you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? 
They know where Earth Angel is, sir, ma'am. Court system, they know. They've been paying Earth Angel a lot of visits. Breaking into homes. Second degree robbery, invasion, whatever they want to call it. But they know, they know, they know. <laughs> they said they're a cult. They got money. They can keep paying for people to keep covering up their crimes. They, they're a whole cult, right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody knows where Earth Angel is. We got the crown chakra coming. The My favorite crystal, the amethyst crystal. Okay. Drain protection, communicating with the spirit realm, knowing the unknown. Listen, it is like the bro. My jar of uh, runes, which I haven't started using yet, excuse me, folks, which I am going to start implementing on the channel, but I have to decide on a schedule because I'm gonna, only going to do that once a week. And then I have to do the domino uh, divination. I'll do that on the 28th of every week, every month. So we're, we're trying to fix things around here, but give me time. Be patient. Patience is a virtue and so is silence. <laughs> We're going to stay silent. No, we're not. We're going to stay our peace. We got the amethyst crystal out here. Your crown chakra is what this one helps with. Knowing the unknown, communicating with the spirit realm, seeing and understanding things from a clearer perspective. If you're having trouble with your crown chakra, get you some amethyst crystal. I have an abundance of them. I have the amethyst in there, fluorite crystal, Royal quartz crystal, clear quartz crystal, smoky cr baby. I be having everything, and then yeah, there, 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 there goes my baby. Eh, the amethyst crystal tree, and then up there I have the seven chakra crystal trees. There's amethyst on there, fluorite, citrine, uh, uh, lapis lazuli. Baby, we got everything up here. Sand, we, we, we got everything. We got everything. 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 Anyways. That's the crystal of the day, the amethyst crystal. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And stay blessed. We will continue to follow up on this story because it is so entertaining. We need some entertainment because, again, I don't got no friends. I am looking for none. But we need some entertainment in our lives. So why not? Anyways, thank you for watching, folks. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next episode of Ascended Divination Priestess Recording. <laughs> news broadcast. Spiritual news broadcast. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next reading. Goodbye for now.